welcome to another Chinese food adventure. I am accompanied today by three very handsome men. Hello everyone, my name is Leon. Hi all, I'm Kingsley. I'm Kingston. And today we are here in Taishan, which is an area in Jiangmen City. And we're here to try one of the very, very famous dishes of the area, which is called eel rice, right? Exactly, yeah, yeah, yellow yeah. eel. There you go. So we actually have the pool of eels behind us here. So, you know, some restaurants have fish tanks. Here we have an eel pond. <laughs> A live eel baby. They're, they're swimming in the in the pond. You can see that they're very energetic, very creepy. alive. Yeah. It's pretty creepy. creepy. Honestly, those eels scares me. They terrify me. This restaurant is have been here for like 20 years. I think. Wow. Yes, and they doing the yellow eel rice is so great. They make it something like a bao zai fan. Okay. Oh right, right, fun, right, right. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, they already get rid of the bone, so it's easy to eat and it's really good. I have never tried this dish before. I love eel. I'm a big fan of, you know, the Japanese eel on rice, but I've never really gone beyond that in terms of my eel exploration. Japanese one is bigger, you know. The bigger, the bigger. Yeah. It looks wide, right? Yeah, this one is more slim. Just like, yeah, the difference between me and my brother. He's the yeah. cute one. I'm the Japanese <laughs> one. So here is our yellow eel rice, Huan Shan Fan. It's served in a big clay pot, which keeps the rice nice and hot. So we have our Huan Shan Fan in front of us here, eel, yellow eel rice. And I'm really, really excited to try it. And the bits of eel are quite small. They're, you know, not a big hunk of eel. It's like little, little pieces of eel. Why do you think this dish is so popular? So the first reason, of course, it only, you can only eat this dishes here. I actually learned after I arrived that this restaurant was recognized as an intangible cultural heritage site. For decades, this restaurant has been a pioneer of yellow eel rice and has played a central role in making this an iconic dish of Taishan. And the second reason is, of course, it is delicious. It smells amazing. You tried the first time and you must try the second time. <laughs> first thing first, we need to put some fresh meal, the, the yellow eel meal on our boat. Oh, okay. And first, and we need to taste it slowly. And first, if we are using our town. Oh, what's that? So nice. Okay, I can get behind this. Step one, to try some eel. So I'll, yeah, get, yeah, yeah. I'll get some eel. Get some eel first. Here we go, yeah. our eel. It smells so good. Great. Mmm. It's so tender. Kind of tastes like chicken. Kind of chicken, chicken meat in a fish. Yeah, yeah chicken meat in fish. Yeah, it's really, really good. I like it so much because I, I hate truffles. Normally, I I don't eat fish because of the all those tiny bones and like, this, this yellow is boneless. 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 I can just put exactly. it in my mouth and enjoy it gently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I like it. So what's step two? What do we do now? Step two is take some rice, of course. Yummy, wasn't wow, it? that looks amazing. Looks great, right? You see from the rice, it's, uh, it's not sticky, right? It's yeah. So typical southern rice. That is a big difference from northern rice. Right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Look at that crispy bottom there. Yeah. So that was the best part of this dish. So you must try this. It tastes like hard rice and probably cookies. Cookies. Yeah. Mmm. No, oh, it's just so good. It's like a fancy fried rice. Best of the best. Yes. Yeah, definitely. This taste is unique, special. Yeah. Only here. Really, really good. The whole dish was really delicious. I love the flavor. I love the texture of the eel. I love the texture of the bottom. But sorry, Kingston, didn't quite get that cookie flavor you were talking about. Everything is just in balance and so harmony. Aww. That's what I feel about it. I was sweating so much outside, we had to move this party inside. And we've also got a lot of other beautiful dishes that they serve here at this restaurant. So a lot of foods from the area, a lot of local foods. And we've also been joined by the Lao Ban and his lovely, lovely wife, who's gonna tell us a little bit more about the history of this restaurant, the history of yellow eel rice. And yeah, I'm super excited about it. It's all gonna be in Cantonese, so hopefully I get all of the translations right. Uh, 
ai cũng chỉ ngồi về chỉ đó à chỉ rất lâu là về cầu mà tiếng chỉ tiếng chỉ rồi mà cầu xây phòng sinh phần phải ngồi chỉ đó ngồi mà chăn quấn là quấn được à giờ bà lục gì của châu phản bộ của quấn ngồi xong rồi mua mua lỗ xe à bắt gì hai đi đầu sạch phần á nhất thải hai đi đầu sạch là quấn sạch qua quấn chăn là phạt chết rồi ngồi sạch ngồi sạch ngồi sạch ngồi sạch ngồi liền ngồi ngồi cái sập suối đó bị sạch rồi cao mối giờ còn đi mối châu phản bộ lo để để châu giảm sạch lo châu vòng sinh phần nó hầm cây lên đó nhất là hầm cây nhất là vòng sinh phần nó để hình gì đó đi chuyển qua châu che hồ chú chưa học nữa, quá trời xì rồi đó, chú quay ngoài chân cuốn. Ông sang phủ là cái mà, chú vòng sinh phần mà dễ dễ, vòng cái dễ dễ, dễ dễ vòng cái dễ dễ, cho nó một tiền cho, cho nó cay cái thằng lục gì sạ tấp sạ sạp sạ sắn đấy hả? Cái mà hầu mi đây rồi. So, thanks to these two and their 30 years of work in hospitality, yellow eel rice is now a household name, a famous dish of Taishan. I think it's a very hard to come across opportunity to talk to two people that have impacted the local culture so significantly. This is absolutely amazing. The food on this table is so, so super yummy. We also have some shower here. They actually cook their own shower here, the traditional way, right? Yeah, exactly. Like um, with the, you were telling me it was like with the lychee wood or something, right? Like lychee wood is kind of fruit woods to burn the, the, the the goose. Yeah, and it yeah. gives it like this flavor. Yeah, exactly, with the fruit flavor <laughs> yeah. on the, the, the goose. If you look back the the cook place back there, yeah. you can notice that there is no temperature gauge or a timer or something like that. So uh, there's no precise time, no precise temperature to cook this uh, roast goose. How they cook it is all according to the individual chef the experience, mm. right? Yeah. So I think that's the beauty of that because by cooking it this way, each chef, their own individual, unique idea can integrate it into the final product and each final product is unique, there is no replicate anywhere. So just on the topic uh, of roast yeah, goose, it's currently dinner time on the same day yeah. and we have another roast goose here on the dining table. It's an amazing meal by the way, we're in Anping which is about an hour away from where we were in Taishan. Anyway, long story short, this is the second roast goose I've had of the day and you would think, you know, similar area, roast goose must taste the same. They're just completely different. I didn't think that, you know, it would actually be true that the way that two different chefs interpret the dish and cook it and how it's cooked can completely change the flavor. But uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of this. I could eat it every day. And I literally did just that. For the week I was in the Jungmen region, I ate at least one serve of roast goose per day. In one case, I even ordered some roast goose to my hotel room because I hadn't eaten one yet that day. One final dish has just arrived on the table and it looks like a dessert. What is this? Taishan dessert. It's basically a cake made of sticky rice and sugar. Whoa. In a golden color. Have you tried this before? Yes, of course. <laughs> a trial memory. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. Where are we tasting? Oh, it's like a it's like a jelly. Look at that. Very jelly-like. Okay. Not much of a smell. Oh. I love that texture. It's like very um glutinous. And then because we had entirely polished off our first bowl, we got ourselves another serve of Huang Shan Fan, but this time we got stuck into it while it was still steaming hot. When we tried it outside, we'd already waited a few minutes and it had gotten a little bit on the colder side. Yep. You need to take advantage of the heat when you eat this because it's even more delicious when it's really, really hot. It's exactly, steaming yeah. hot and it's so good. In our culture, everything, the hotter it is, the better it is. Hot <laughs> yeah. water, hot rice, hot everything, right? On this table, what is your favorite? Absolutely the hot Oh yeah? <laughs> Absolutely. What about you? Of course, what else? <laughs> What about you? 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 What about you?